Spreading the Words is a series on the histories of Irish words from literature and everyday life. Written by Sharon Boothnot and Maura Neve Wainig and produced in association with the book A History of Ireland in 100 Words and the Electronic Dictionary of the Irish Language. In this piece, our reader is Ruth Hegarty. Snov. Swimming. Ireland has an abundance of lochs and rivers and, despite often chilly waters, wild swimming remains a popular activity, a fact amply attested by the hundreds who gather every year for an invigorating Christmas Day swim from the 40-foot in Sandy Cove in Dublin. The Christmas Day swim is known in Irish as Snov La Nullag, and Snov is a word that has been in use since the old Irish period. It refers to various types of activity on or in water, including that of boats floating on the surface and of fish moving below the waterline. Snov is often distinguished from unfwish, which refers to diving and sometimes seems to mean specifically diving to the bottom. Proverbially, the phrase unfwish ocean, diving to the bottom of the ocean, was used to express an unachievable aim, while ixnov in Igasa, swimming against a waterfall, today denotes a merely difficult undertaking. Throughout the centuries, swimming seems to have been regarded by the Irish as a fundamental life skill. In the medieval period, it was part of the training that a foster father was expected to provide for his foster sons, and legal texts pertaining to fosterage outline certain safety procedures that are to be observed. Instructors are to remain close at hand, and the chosen body of water should be in snava, that is, fit for swimming. The importance of such precautions is clear from recorded instances of drownings. According to the Annals of the Four Masters, for example, in 1576, Siobhan Ogue, daughter of Turlock O'Neill, drowned as she was learning to swim in the Straboy River in County Donegal. In the tales and poems of the Middle Ages, swimming is presented also as a recreational activity. A 14th or 15th century version of The Conversation of the Old Men tells how the women who accompanied Fionn McCool swam together while the men hunted. The word used there for group swimming is kosnov. An early 13th century version of the same tale actually distinguishes various strokes such as cool snov, swimming on one's back, of snov, swimming on one's side, and thragsnov, which means literally foot swimming and may refer to treading water. An even earlier set of instructions for living gives us an old Irish phrase for swimming on a full stomach, snov ir soth, literally swimming after being satisfied with food. This occurs in a long list of undertakings that are bad for the body. Other activities in that list include running uphill, getting up early, sleeping on one's back and shouting into the wind. <laughs>